my daily subconscious rewiring routine is actually really simple. I try to make things simple because when you make things simple, you realize that progression is really just about subtracting. It's about removing all the stuff that you shouldn't be doing and just do like the 20% of the stuff that actually matters. The 20% of the stuff that you actually do will account for 80 plus percent of the results that you get. So my sub subconscious rewiring routine, to be honest, is I wake up, when I wake up, I wake up when the sun's up usually. And I engage in meditation, short, 10 minutes or less. And I do a couple things. Now, this routine can get a lot more um, intense based on the season I'm in in my life. However, my my day-to-day -day regular routine is I'll write an affirmation on my whiteboard. So I'll meditate, I'll write an affirmation on my whiteboard, and then I'll listen to hypnosis audios, like rapid hypnosis audios that I, that I created, or I'll listen to affirmations. I'll listen to like the Bob Proctor uh, money affirmation, for example, but really it's, it's I wake up, I do my deep breathing, which is meditation. I immediately open up my Deep Mind Programming School community, or I'll open up YouTube and I'll, I'll wear the AirPods in for like 10, 15 minutes walking around the house. And all, all that put together, it's like a 20 to 25 minute routine. But really after I'm done the meditation, I can get up and move around. I just have the AirPods in, right? And I'm listening to the affirmations and I'm also repeating them under my breath. This is like a 15, 20 minute thing. But again, after I'm done my meditation, I'm up, I'm either making my coffee or I'm getting my laptop set up or I'm in the bathroom getting ready or whatever it is. But the, the good thing about the subconscious rewiring routine is the fastest and, and most effective way to do it, to see actual results, is listening to ideally hypnosis audios, if not affirmations. It's a gradual thing that you do every day, but within 30 days, you should start to see yourself acting differently. If not acting or speaking differently, thinking about the world differently and seeing yourself differently. Literally, when you look into the mirror, you st should start to see the positives and you, for the stuff that you fall short on, character-wise and whatever you see in the mirror, you should no longer be bashing yourself. You should be loving yourself in a way where you're, you're telling yourself that this can be worked on and that this is going to change and this is improving this can be improved because when you see yourself in the mirror, you see your potential now. You see everything that you are becoming, everything that you are in your vision. So my, subco my daily subconscious rewiring routine is rather quite simple. I see people and, and all of my work with one-on-one -on -one clients is to remind them that this can be real simple. Let's, let's keep going. I just feel the need to drive for a bit. It can actually be real simple. Where I see people mess up in trying to change their lives, trying to manifest whatever it is or do anything great is they try and do too much they try and do everything they try and do all the techniques they learned about the 369 method or whatever it is and they start doing too much and then number one nothing amounts to that because they're doing things that are conflicting number two the more energy you spend on trying to make things happen energetically the slower they'll actually happen because a part of this is that letting go piece. The letting go piece, the best way to think about that is it's going to be whatever it's going to be. So that's the second thing. And, and when I try and do anything, when I'm trying to start a YouTube channel, when I try to blow up an Instagram account, when I, when I try and blow up an Instagram account, when I am trying to do anything, when I'm trying to work with a client and help them become more confident or whatever it is, I always ask myself what in all of this stuff actually matters like what in everything I'm about to do and all the key activities I'm about to do and the actions I'm about to take actually matters like actually is the most important thing to where without doing this one thing nothing moves and I can get away with not doing everything else but I can't get away with not doing this thing you got to figure out what that is what that is for you because my subconscious rewiring routine routine is not the best in the world Otherwise, I'd be a lot more successful than I am right now. And it's going to look different from yours. You might not need to meditate in the morning. That's a practice that I will always try and preserve. You might not need to meditate in the morning. You might not need to listen to your affirmations. You might not need to write your affirmations down. For me, that is what has proven to work for me and that's what brings me into that state energetically to see whatever you do, no matter what you do or in the order that you do it, that does not matter. What matters is you spend enough time with yourself in the morning to get to that place energetically where all you can see is success and where all you can see, where all you can see is the vision and from the vision. 
go through that visualization process. When I'm meditating, I'm, I'm, I'm visualizing. When I'm listening to my affirmations, I'm visualizing. Go through that visualization process. See yourself driving the nice car. See yourself walking up the steps to your house, your dream home. See yourself getting to the airport, getting out of the Escalade and hop and walking onto the private jet. See yourself doing these things. Visualize these things. You need to know what that feels like. You need to know what the color of the house is or the color of the car is or whether you have leather seats or not. You need to know and feel these details. If you can't see them visually, if you're not a visual person mentally, try and feel the texture of things or try and smell the air in your, in your dream, like whatever it is, or hear the conversations happening. Speak to the people in the vision. You should continue the session in the morning, by the way, I do it in the morning and at night, everything I said before, but you should stay in that session until you, until that's where you're at energetically, where you can see, feel, touch, smell, and hear the vision. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But that's my daily subconscious rewiring routine. Again, it's nothing special and it shouldn't be special. You shouldn't like part of the toughest thing about embarking on this wellness journey embarking on this embarking on the self-improvement journey is you're being bombarded with so much information you're being bombarded with so many techniques and tactics and things you should do and people's youtube videos and stuff like that that it starts to become overwhelming and you start to lose sight of what's actually important and a lot of the times when you're first starting to improve yourself you don't even know what's important you don't even know what matters you're just so focused on like oh, I wish I had known this sooner or whatever it is, or I need to change this about myself or this about myself. And then people start rushing. Not only is there too much information, but people rush. This is not a thing you should be rushing. Move at the pace that allows you continue to continue to do it every day for a minimum of a season at a time. And a season could be three months, six months. It could be 30 days. It could be a week, once every month. But work at the pace that allows you continue. Work at the pace that allows you to continue to work every day. Not everybody needs to spend an hour in the morning with themselves, rewiring their subconscious mind. Not everybody needs five minutes. Figure out what works for you and how you know what works for you is what allows you to get into that space energetically where you feel worthy, where you feel confident, where you feel like the best, most supreme version of yourself, where you feel relentless or whatever the character traits are for what you are trying to build that are necessary. It's a process. Life is a process. Success is a process. Becoming the best version of you is a process that never ends. Wink, wink. You're never the best. You're never a complete version of you. You are the best version of you when you continue, when you commit to continuing to work on yourself and when you commit to continuing to rewire your mind in the right direction. You never know enough. You never know. You do know enough, but like you never know everything. You never know all that there is to know my daily subconscious rewiring routine thoughts questions in the comments hit the thumbs up button hit that like button see you guys in the next video i'm out peace